Rossiter United, welcome to lesson three of chapter three, our focus on Mesopotamia. This lesson is the achievements of Sumerians. Our goal is to focus on the fact that Sumerians made many advances that helped their society develop. We're going to focus on a lot of the different categories of developments, starting with the invention of writing. The invention of writing by the Sumerians was the first system of writing in the world. This is cuneiform. They used basic symbols to represent ideas. Pens and paper were not around yet. They hadn't discovered how to make paper. So what they did was they took soft clay and took a sharp writing implement that didn't use ink, kind of like a, a, a scalpel. It's called a stylus, similar to what you'd see on like a Nintendo DS or something like that. And they traced onto the soft clay and then it hardened so that it would stay permanent. They drew with pictographs. These are picture symbols that were used in cuneiform. They used it to keep business records. And people who could write, known as scribes, kept track of records for the upper class. It was a way for them to advance in the hierarchy. There were a lot of different technological advancements and inventions, such as the wheel, which uh, helped in the development of carts and wagons, pottery for the transfer of goods, and the cultivation of agriculture. The plow was a big part of that as well. They used water to measure time for the first clocks. And they were also able to develop sewers, which would help manage waste under streets, which meant better hygiene for the public, which meant longer lives. In math, they realized that the number 60 shows up quite a bit. They realized that there's 360 degrees in a circle, that there's 60 seconds in a minute. They established 60 minutes in an hour, 12 months in a year as a factor of 60. They discovered formulas for how to find the area of rectangles and triangles. They were, began recording data to help with science, which led to the developments of medicine, basic cure-alls, as well as recording symptoms of illnesses. As far as architecture is concerned, Rulers lived in large palaces. The upper class of Sumerian culture lived in two-story homes that were about 12 rooms. The middle and the lower classes had one-story homes with about six to seven rooms around an outdoor courtyard. So you'd have a, like a, instead of a backyard, you'd have the open yard in the center and then six to seven rooms around that. The center of these cities were grand temples known as ziggurats. Ziggurats were pyramid-shaped temples. They were tower structures with outdoor staircases which led to a shrine at the very top to the gods. In arts, Sumerians created sculptures, which were either large statues of gods for temples or just very small objects out of ivory and rare woods. They imported gold, silver, and gemstones from other lands for jewelry and developed advanced methods of goldsmithing. They created these items called cylinder seals. If you take a look here, you see there are engravings. When you would roll these cylinders over clay, it would leave an imprint. These were used to stamp ownership or as a signature. And they also used music in their culture. Kings and musicians hired musicians for very special occasions. Um, reed pipes, drums, tambourines, and string instruments similar to guitars, known as lyres, were very popular. This was the first form of entertainment in areas like homes and markets. Quick quiz. The Sumerians developed blank, the world's first system of writing. Answer. Cuneiform, the world's first system of writing. Now, the earliest written communication in cuneiform was through blank, or picture symbols. Pictographs. Pictographs were a main form of cuneiform. A blank is a pyramid-shaped temple that rose above each Sumerian city. Ziggy, ziggurat, a ziggurat, pyramid-shaped temple. Finally, among the contributions of the Sumerians to modern society was the blank, and the first vehicles to use it, such as carts and wheels. Can't have carts and wagons without the wheel. That's lesson three. See you next time.